Hello Internets! Today I'm back with another screencast, and this time I'm talking about streaming your old PC games. So we've all seen how popular streaming games has become. Whoever thought PewDiePie would become the most popular person on YouTube just by playing a bunch of games and letting you watch? So next time your significant other complains that you're spending too long gaming, just pull up another chair and let them watch the most popular form of entertainment on the web. Well, okay, maybe not. But anyway, let's look at some options for streaming on the PC. Now, there's two ways people tend to stream PC games. One way is to use a capture card, either an internal one like this or a USB model, and a second PC. The advantages of doing this are that you can capture any game without any performance hit on the machine where you're actually playing the game. The disadvantages? Well, obviously this is going to be more expensive, and you're going to need two PCs. So what about a more affordable option? Well, there are actually some pretty good streaming software packages on the PC. If you've got a more recent Nvidia card, like I have in this machine, you can use the GeForce Experience app, to access Shadow Play. This gives you some basic screen recording and streaming capabilities. You can tell when Shadow Play is compatible with a game as a little icon appears in the bottom right here. If I just select this Allow Desktop Capture option, then down here you can see the Shadow Play icon has appeared, indicating that this program or the desktop is Shadow Play compatible. Okay, I'll just turn that off again. Another solid choice is Evolve, which I've got running here. And Evolve is more like a complete overlay program for gaming, giving you access to messaging, party chat and various other things, and of course live streaming. Using software tools like these can steal some computing power away from your games, but we're talking old games here so that shouldn't matter. Shadow Play uses the power of your graphics card, whereas Evolve uses the CPU. Both of these components should be underutilised when you're playing older games. The biggest problem is, if I start No One Lives Forever... Just give that a moment to load skip through the intros and nope there's no shadow play icon down there since this is a DirectX 7 game shadow play and evolve only support DirectX 9 and above so no shadow play and no evolve so let's quit that for now Actually, I think Evolve might support DirectX 8, but that's not going to help us here because this is DirectX 7. So here's where the awesome comes in. Head on over to this web page here, DG Voodoo 2, and download DG Voodoo 2. You'll need to download the latest version, and you may also need the D3D compiler file from the top of the page though it's probably already installed on your PC. You can actually check by going to C Drive, Windows, SysWow64, and if I scroll down, D3D Compiler 43, Yep, I'm good to go. Alright, so once you've downloaded DG Voodoo 2, you get this zip file, and I've extracted it into this folder. Now what we need to do is copy some files over into our games folder, so no one lives forever. First of all, we're going to need the configuration tool, so I'll just drag and drop that over. Then if it's an old DirectX game, you open up the MS folder and copy out these DLLs 
and copy them into the games directory. OK, there we go. With those files copied over, let's run the dgvoodoo setup file. Alright, the first thing to do is hit this button here to set the directory to the games folder. And double check this as it does occasionally come up wrong. Now you're going to want to click on the DirectX tab since this is a DirectX game. Now you don't normally need to change any of these settings. You might want to force VSync on or add some anti-aliasing but we'll just go with the defaults for this example and I'm going to leave the watermark switched on for the moment just so we can see clearly that DG Voodoo 2 is actually working. Alright so let's hit apply and then OK and as you notice here it's saved a little configuration file. Alright so let's start the game again Skip past the intro. And there we go. You can see that Shadow Play is actually now working in this game. And we get the little Shadow Play icon at the bottom right. And we can start streaming our games. Alright, let's quit out again and we'll discuss some other options. OK, so to actually start streaming, you need to go into GeForce Experience and click on Shadow Play here and change the mode into Twitch. Like that. And then as long as your Twitch account is linked to Shadow Play, all you need to do is press Alt and F8 together to start broadcasting. So that's pretty cool. But Shadow Play is quite basic and doesn't give you much control over your stream. One thing you might want to do is check on Twitch that your stream is actually working. You could alt tab out of the game and do that in your browser. But of course older games in particular aren't keen on you doing that. Luckily there's another solution. So let's go back to Evolve again. Now that our game is DirectX 11 compatible we can use this tool in-game to manage our Twitch streams. You can stream directly using the Evolve app if you like, or you can use Shadow Play. Try them both and see what works best for you. Manage streaming by going to Evolve and selecting Home. And then click on Broadcasts here. From this window you can watch other people's streams or start your own. To set up streaming you need to go to the menu here and choose preferences. Then click on the broadcasting tab and from here you can link your Twitch account and set the various options including configuring your microphone and the frame rate and CPU usage etc. Ok I've set mine all up ready so I'll just cancel that. Now there's another step you'll need to take with most old games and that's you'll need to go into the library, find your game on the list here and you'll need to enable the overlay for the game. Evolve will normally think that your game isn't compatible with the overlay because normally it isn't so we need to override that. So what you need to do is just right click on your game, choose properties and then select this option enable in-game overlay and then click on OK. Evolve supports tons of games and the community is adding new ones all the time. If your favourite game isn't supported you can even add support really easily. Check the Evolve forums for details of how to do that. Alright so we should be ready to broadcast now. So I'll show you how you can use Shadow Play and Evolve together if you want to. 
So first of all, click on the start casting button here. And then just click on the settings icon here and choose view channel. All right, then click on the stop button to stop broadcasting with Evolve. And that conveniently leaves the channel window open on your screen. So let's go into the game again. And skip past the intro like before. You can see the Evolve overlay message has appeared. Alright, I'll start. Oh, I'll continue the game actually. That'll be easier. Skips past the intro. Okay, so I'll hit the Alt and F8 keys to start the stream. And the shadow play icon has appeared. Now if I hit the Windows key, I can actually see my channel. And if everything's working right, that should soon change. Let's try closing and opening it. Here we go. And there we go, we can see the stream's working. Alright, so once you've verified the stream's working, you'll want to close here, as you don't want to watch a video of you watching your own channel, as that just gets really weird. So close that, and now you can start streaming, and all your fans can start watching you play the game. And if you die or whatever and you want to chat to your audience, you can just type here. Hi, I'm so awesome at this game. Ah, and awesome at spelling. Alternatively, of course, you could just check your stream by using the smartphone app or another PC. Though I personally find the chat feature in Evolve is more convenient than picking up another device if I want to say anything to the audience while I'm streaming. Not that anyone ever watches my streams anyway, but anyway. And we're done! That's how you can easily and cheaply stream older games on your brand new PC.